Hello, YouTube. Chris, the frugal audio file with you today. Um, this is going to be just kind of a simple video here. I want to talk about and kind of review this Roku Voice Remote Pro. And I picked this up about seven months ago. And so I have spent a considerable amount of time using it. So I just want to kind of share my thoughts on it, whether or not you should buy it. That is if you can. <laughs> I just checked and uh, it's not available on Amazon right now. Maybe... Uh, ebay or another store but i checked at amazon in anyway um i got this for 25 dollars uh, when it first released and the reason i got it is because in here in my tv room or my home theater i have a 55 inch sharp roku tv and the remote that it came with was really junk and it died within about a year or so i mean the buttons fell apart is what happened to it it didn't like you could actually hear them rattling inside of it and so I went to replace that remote and um, I couldn't find the exact remote. So I bought a knockoff on Amazon and that was a mistake because within a couple of months that remote died and the buttons fell apart on it as well. And I don't think I'm particularly hard on remotes, but maybe. So anyway, as I was looking for another remote, I was going to try to get maybe an authentic Sharp or Roku remote. I saw that this one was released and I watched a video from Lon Seibin on YouTube and so... He was talking about it, and it seemed like a good option. I thought, well, 25 bucks is kind of high, but if it's a good remote and it works well and it has the features that I want, I'll, I'll give it a shot. And so I did, and I'm really happy that I did. I really love this remote. It's a great remote. Uh, for or starters, I like that it has the volume control here on the side. That's not really unique to this remote, but it's nice. Also, it has the headphone jack. Now, I did check the uh, amplifier output on this and it's pretty weak like i was using fairly sensitive iems and it got just loud enough so that's something to keep in mind as you are considering these roku remotes they do not have the best um headphone amplifiers inside of them so keep that in mind and then you see here this switch and this is the always listing mode and right now it's on so if i do that now it's off and there now it's on and so what that is, is an always listening mode for this remote. And that means that even if the TV is off, I'll turn it off because it's not that hard to do. I can say, Roku, find my remote. Well, what it's supposed to do is find the remote. But for some reason, it's not working right now. So I'm going to have to look into that. Uh, anyway, that's a nice feature if it works. And I have actually buried it down in like my couch and found it so i don't know what's going on with it right now that's one feature that you don't get on the basic roku remotes all right of course it has your voice search and it has your uh, direct access buttons here as as well however it has these two programmable buttons which you can program to a voice command so you can say for example open paramount plus and that's what i have this one set to so when I press it, it opens Paramount Plus. And that's not uh, pre-programmed in there. That is part of this remote's feature set. So I don't, you don't need to watch anything on Paramount right now. But that's a nice feature. I really like that because I watch other things besides these four. I do watch three out of these four. Actually, I watch all those. Not Voodoo a whole lot, but I do. And so um, it's nice to have ones that can be self-program for your personal preferences and so uh, that's another thing i like about this remote and uh, one thing that i guess is a feature that i don't know if i like it or not is the battery inside this is rechargeable and so you have see a usb-c port there and it will recharge with a usb-c power plug and so some would call that a feature some would not i'm on the fence because the bad part about these built-in non-replaceable rechargeable batteries is that when they go dead this device is done now hopefully that's a very long time and i don't need the remote any longer when that actually happens but you never know if i end up using this remote for let's say 10 years i don't think that battery is going to hold a good charge for those entire 10 years it depends on how much you use it and how often you charge it so that's kind of a feature but it's a spec of this particular remote and so that's just kind of an overview of it of course you have all your typical roku controls here throughout the remote as well 
but I really like this remote. I am very happy with it. I like the way that it feels in my hand. I like the feature set that it has, and it functions quite well. You can see it working. It's a little bit slow, but that's my Roku TV, not the remote. You see there's a little bit of a delay. It's not terrible. Actually, working pretty good right now, but it is definitely noticeable. And so that is this remote. Now, I have some other Roku remotes here, and one that you might find especially interesting, but this is the remote to my new TCL 32-inch uh, 3 Series TV. And this is similar to that remote, but a much more stripped down version. For starters, you don't have the self-programmable buttons here. There is no uh, headphone jack output. There is no always-on listing mode, which was actually work on that remote anyway. There is no rechargeable battery. That might actually be a good thing on this remote. And it also, it feels just lighter and flimsier. I don't like the way it feels in my hand as much. This material is definitely cheaper, but it works. It's it's just fine. And so that is the one to my 32-inch TCL. Now, this one here, this goes to my Roku 4K Express Plus. I actually don't need that anymore because I bought that TV in there, and it replaced the functionality of this device. So this is just one I have to carry when I'm on the road, and I have the remote here. And this feels more like the Voice Remote Pro, However, it lacks the listening feature. It does have the voice command there, though. And um, it also lacks the um, headphone jack output, non-rechargeable batteries. But it lacks the self-programmable buttons. It lacks, you know, the, the headphone thing there and um, the always listening mode. But you can see it's got the volume there, so you can control that. This is a good remote, and I actually like this remote better than the one on my TCL TV, but it, it belongs with my on-the-go 4K Express Plus. All right, the final one I just want to show you is just for fun here, and this is one of the very first Roku remotes. I don't know why, but I held on to it. I like to hold on to these type of remotes. It's not like it's that big, so it just sits in, sits in a drawer somewhere, and I have actually used it in a pinch when I couldn't find a Roku remote. I think I used it on this TV for a while, I actually do have a Harmony that I can use in here, but I like to have a simple way to operate this TV without using the Harmony. And also, it's nice for company that doesn't know how to use a Harmony. I just give them the Roku remote, the Voice Remote Pro, and it works just fine. But in, anyway, as you can see, this looks much different than your modern Roku remote. It's much more squared off. Uh, this is an interesting way that this battery pack slides out here. Very old school. There's no really color to it, no direct access button. This came out when Roku was pretty much Netflix and Hulu and maybe Plex was working on it. I think it did eventually, but not when it first came out. And I think this is from the Roku LT is the one that I had. I'll look it up and put it on the screen here. I, I can't remember, but yeah, this is a very old remote, but it still works. Just kind of some nostalgia. Nothing really that important or helpful here for you guys. So yeah, that's the Voice Remote Pro. I really like it. I highly recommend it. If you're willing to spend the 25 bucks on it, I would say it's worth it. It's nice to have the additional features, the the grip on it, the feel on it is nice in the hand, and it's very functional, and it works quite well. So I do really recommend that you pick up this remote. Before I end this video, I just want to let everyone know that uh, my post might be sporadic here for the next few weeks. I'm actually having eye surgery this week. I'm having a cornea transplant. Uh, you might have heard me talk about that in another video. And so uh, my, my posts are going to be a little bit more spread. I'm going to try to get one a week out. I'm going to put some in the queue and, and release those out. But um, I'm not going to be posting quite as much as I have been lately. Uh, so I got that surgery coming up. It's probably going to take me out of commission for a little while. So I just appreciate your patience there. And I thank you so much for watching this video. Uh, if you had this remote, what do you think of it? Do you agree with my thoughts here on it? Or do you disagree? Leave me a comment down below. And remember, frugal doesn't necessarily mean cheap.